Coach Dave Dempsey, and of course Salem, coached by Ken Perrone, and uh, John and I were talking about it before we went on the air, and always look for a few wrinkles from Ken Perrone as he starts something and goes to about nine different shifts and uh, offensive uh, formations, and uh, just a fun game to watch when uh, when Ken Perrone brings the Salem Ball Club onto the field because uh, they do so many different things. He's going to be the most innovative coach in the Northeast Conference. He, you know, you, I don't know how you can plan to play his football teams because. You can't plan for the sweep or the pass or the, or the run by the fullback because he does it all. Uh, Statue of Liberty is everything we've talked about before the game. He does it. And Dave Dempsey down here in front of us as you look at him and giving his final instructions to his ball club as they head out on the field to start tonight's ball game. A few numbers changes that we have for you. We'll give them for you as they go along. And uh, if there's any more, we'll get them from... Uh, a good friend and colleague in the next booth, Ed McGillick. Number 22 is Andy Parker, a senior in the middle. Number 44 is Javier Walton. See, saw him last year. And on the far side of the field, number four. Number four or five? That's number five. Yeah, number five is Bob Raymond. Those are your deep men. Up front, number 32 is Roy Breckenridge. He's the guy you were telling me about the transfer, John? He's the guy you're going to watch. He's, he's, uh, he rushed for over 100 yards their last game, and he is a transfer by uh, Peabody, Bishop Fenwick, and now Salem. Nice, run, good running back. Game number two in the Northeast Conference for both ball clubs. Classical. Lost last week to Saugus. Salem. Lost, l beat Danvers last week. So both teams, one and one. Line drive kick. Grabbed right up the middle at the 45-yard line. Did it go? Yeah, it went 10. All right. So Salem starts right off with excellent, excellent field position at their own 46-yard line. I, I think he caught that out of self-defense. <laughs> <laughs> he certainly wasn't expecting it. I think it was either catch it or eat it. <laughs> Quarterback looks like number 11, Rick O'Leary. He's a junior. He'll be quarterbacking Ken Perrone's offense. They set it up already in the power eye, and then they switch out of it immediately. You'll see a lot of these stunts and changes. Now a man in motion. Looks like we might have had a man offside on that one. <laughs> it's, it's the one problem. When you got so many men moving. You <laughs> it's, it's the one problem with this offense. If too many guys move, it costs you. Okay, it's offside again. Salem moves it back to the 41-yard line, so it'll be first and 15 for the Witches. Rick O'Leary's the guy you got to watch, too, in the Salem. He passed for two touchdowns last week, and he also kicks the points after. Aside from the rain, this is not a, a bad night for football up here at Manning Bowl. There is no wind, so it's not really a factor except for the wet football. Up the middle. Breckenridge on the carry, number 32. He picks up about three yards, maybe two. Give him two on that. So it'll be second and 13 for the Witches. They're at their own 43-yard line. Second and 13, opening sequence for Salem. Breckenridge on the pitch, wide side. We've got the best crew working here tonight, I'll tell you, out in that rain with uh, Billy Devine and Dave McCarthy, Art Sullivan, and Mark Natola. And let me tell you, three of those names are out in the rain. I don't know which three are out in the rain right now, John, but they're manning those cameras and doing an excellent job here on our camera coverage in the rain. No protection for those cameras outside in the rain. Quick kick, Quick gets kick. it away. Nobody down there. It bounces inside the 15-yard line, and Salem pushes Classical way back. And so on third down, they kick it away and push it way back to about the 13. Looks like about the 12. That's a 12, okay. First and 10 for the Rams. 
as they go on offense. Quarterback is Denny Ward. He's a senior, 5'11", 190 pound senior, and he's a, he's a good one. Brings his team out. Wide to the left side is Derek Marino. Give up the middle is nowhere. Morehouse gets the first call of the night for the Rams and uh, maybe got it back to the line of scrimmage, no more than that. They're going to be hard pressed to run against the Salem line. They play real good defense. Second and ten. No gain on the play. The ball resting at about the 12-yard line for the Rams. Their own 12. On the quick kick by Salem. In motion is Malcolm Brown. Morehouse on the carry once again gets it out across the 15 out to about the 16 yard line. Well, this could pay off a Salem here. They hold him here. Might might give him good field position which I think is what the quick kick was intended to do. Brown wide to the left side. Everybody else in tight. The carry again I believe was Morehouse. We'll see. No, Eric Langis. Landis on the carry, not much of a gain, out to about the 18, 19 yard line. He's got to go up across to about the 22, so it'll be fourth down and about four, so kicking situation for the Rams. Rain still coming down. Accordingly, a very sparse crowd here at Manning Bowl. Fumble on the snap by the kicker, but he gets it away. Good good classical bounce up near the 50-yard line. And down Last by one. Jay Teague. They avoided disaster there. That ball slipped out of his hand. Almost got it blocked. Was lucky to get it off. And a nice bounce. They come out of it pretty well, all things considered. So in the exchange, Salem picks up a couple of yards. Not many, but the ball is now at the 47-yard line. First and ten for Salem as they go left to right, opening a period of play, no score in the ball game. O'Leary, the quarterback. Single set behind him is Breckenridge. Pitches to Breckenridge. Tries to skirt wide. Hit and dropped. Peter Grocky and Dexter McKenzie in on the yeah, he that hit up here. On the hit, and uh, yeah, and uh, he may have picked up a couple of yards, so we'll call it second and eight. The ball is at the 49-yard line of Salem. No score opening period. Time is unofficial right now at 7.44 remaining in the first period. Again, Breckenridge across the 50 into classical territory. Ball is about the 47 yard line. Third and five. So far, it's been the Roy Breckenridge show. For That's there. right. So far. I don't think anybody else has touched the ball other than the quarterback in the center. They run four plays and he's <laughs> carried four times. O'Leary on the long count. And we're going to get too much time. Just so many, so much movement in that backfield that uh, by the time they get this thing snapped off, it, uh, it's very, very close to the allotted time. And that cost Salem five yards. Yeah. They've got a lot to do in that 25 seconds. The ball back to the 47-yard line of Salem now. It'll be third down and about, well, close to 10 now. Quick kick again. As they, they drill it back there, and it's 
again moves back down, this time inside the 10-yard line, down to about the 9. And this is the second time they've done that. This is their best play so far. So far, it's pushed, it's pushed, Salem, uh, pushed Classical back the first time to about the 12. This time it's inside the 10 at about the 9. And that's where Classical will put it in play for their second sequence of the first quarter here. Both teams having difficulty moving the ball in the early going. In fact, it's down about the 7 ring. Yeah. Close to the 10 yard line. I thought that was Johnson on the carry for Classical. Second and about eight for the Rams. Johnson again on the carry, this time left side, and he gets it out to about the 12-yard line, looks like. It'll be third down. Third down, and we'll call it about six. It is third and five. <laughs> I'm going to say six, and I mean six. I think they're short. Although they're, it's close enough for measurement. Maybe the forward progress, he might have made it. I think that was Morehouse on the carry, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Johnny Morehouse on the carry as they bring the chains in from the far side to measure this one. Get that chain right down there. And he looks like he might have gotten it. No, he's, he's short, short by about a half a football so it'll be fourth down in inches for the Rams what would you do here I don't know um, that's why I'm up here I, <laughs> I leave that up to coach Dempsey he's gonna kick it away it looks like Breckenridge back on his 45 yard on the classical 45 yard line awaiting the punt snap is high this time at the 40 of Classical. Slips and falls inside the 35 yard line. But in the exchange, Classical, the Salem picks up some valuable yardage and now has the ball deeper in Classical territory at about the 34 yard line, the 30, yeah, 34 yard line of Classical. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, I'm not getting I'm involved with you, you two I'm guys. I'm telling you, it's beautiful, I'm isn't it? I'm not getting involved with okay. you Okay, straight power eye this time. Last man through, looked like Breckenridge. Right up over the top. Very close to the 30-yard line, and that's about where they'll put it down. So a pickup of about three or, three or four yards on the play. Second and seven for Salem, right? The ball at the near the 30. Of classical. Salem has it second and seven. No score. First quarter. 440 remaining unofficially. There's the pitch out. Intercepted. He's got some room. That would be Derek Durant. I believe number 16. Oh, it's 18, I believe. 18? Okay, Derek Marino. Derek Marino, there is a flag on the play. Let's see what the call is before we decide who's going to keep possession of this football. It's a clip, clip against Classical. Clip against Classical, but I think that would be after the, after the interception. So Classical will keep the football, I believe. Yeah. And, but they push back a little bit, but they get, they get the ball back. And moving it back, Derek Marino on the interception from the pass thrown back by Dan Lonergan. He took the flea flicker back from Rick O'Leary, the pitch back from Rick O'Leary, and Lonergan threw it out on the right side, and 
<coughs> Marino read it perfectly. He had about four or five green jerseys there, and he had some room. First and ten for the Rams. Danny Ward back. Opening pass for him tonight. Up the middle. And beautiful pass to Derek Marino. Up at the 35-yard line. 34. He, he went back a little bit, but that was a very, very nice picture play as Marino picked it off at about the 34-yard line. And it'll be f close to a first down it is. First down. It's the initial first down of the game for either team. Yeah. Flags everywhere. As Morehouse went up the middle, but see what the call is here. They're talking to Salem, so it looks like it's against classical, maybe motion or uh, somebody might have got a head start. Yeah, back in motion against classical. Declined. <sighs> Penalty declined, and it'll take the down, and it'll be a second down, and second and nine for the Rams. Ball out at their 34-yard line. No score, first quarter. This is Johnson. Johnson tries left, gets back to maybe the line of scrimmage. That's about it. Classical. Salem filled those holes up rather quickly. It looked like that was going to be a, a big play for Classical coming around the side. He had blocking in front of him, but uh, Salem defense came up quickly. And we got some people here tonight, John, in this rain, and they're huh? still coming in. I'm surprised. We talked about that before the game. We said the, mid, the place may be empty, but surprising enough, yeah, there's a lot of... A lot of umbrellas, but a lot of people under those umbrellas, I hope. <laughs> Up the middle. And he made the first down. Big, big gain. Langes. Eric Langes on the carry. Gets it out to almost the 45-yard line. They put it down at the 43. Another big first down for the Rams as they're moving the ball out near midfield. They're going to measure. So they don't get the first down yet. <laughs> the guy in the stakes gave it to him. He's got first down. <laughs> He's got it. He's got it. They got the first down, so the guy in the stakes was right. Ball is at the 43 of Classical as they're moving right to left uh, after the interception by Derek Marino. Have moved the ball up now to the 43-yard line. No score, first quarter. 2.55 remaining in the first quarter. Danny Ward back. Puts it up. Airs it out for Marino. Almost a great catch as he went up over the back of <laughs> number 40. <laughs> I think they're going to Julio Sanabia. He made sure nobody's going to catch it, but That's I'm not right. sure that wasn't That's pass right. interference. <laughs> I think the Salem, said, the Salem coaches are asking about it, too. That was a good pass in the rain, I'll tell you, because that ball was well thrown. Just a little bit short. It'll be second down and 10 at the classical 43. Danny Ward, number 17, the quarterback for the Rams. Nobody there, so he keeps wisely and gets back to maybe the line of scrimmage no more. Forward progress had him just about near the 45, and they'll place it down third and 10. I think that was a busted play. He looked yeah. for somebody to hand the ball off to, and somebody missed, missed an assignment there. They give him a yard of forward progress, so it'll be third and nine for Classical at the 44. Marino again, wide to the left. Wide to the right is Malcolm Brown. Up the middle is Morehouse. No, that's number 31. Carvel Cox. Carvel Cox, the first time we've seen him tonight. Good pickup up near the 49-yard line. It'll be a fourth down and about four. Fourth and about four. Four 
Derek Durant will kick it away. Back is Breckenridge and O'Leary. Good boot this time. Breckenridge in the middle at the 20. Slips and falls just as he gets across the 20 out to about the 22, 23 yard line. No appreciable run back at all and Classical has pushed Salem back to about their own 23 yard line. Now it's Classical starting to play defense. So far it has been that kind of a ball game with the both teams just filling each other out here in the first quarter with about a minute and 10 seconds to go unofficially first quarter no score. And O'Leary brings them out in a hurry. Officials say, okay, now you can snap it. Quick count. Breckenridge again. Gets his way forward out to near the 35-yard line. Second Good. effort gave him yeah. his first first down. Good carry by Roy Breckenridge. He is a workhorse, right? He carried the ball 29 mm -hmm. times in a, in a game against Danvers last week. They list him as five... Six, 140 pounds? Really? Okay, that's what the program says. I don't know, they listed Matt Murray last week at six foot five, too. Yeah, so they may, they may switch him around a little bit. Breckenridge again on the carry out to the 39-yard line. Maybe he's the only one that knows the place. I don't know. There's an awful lot of white jerseys over there, but he's the only one carrying. Well, Larry's got his number down pretty good. And I believe that's it again. I think it was. Got to he gets up. He's going to be one tired cowboy, I'll tell you. He gets it out across the 40, out to about the 42-yard line. It's one of those days. Two yard line. We've got a third and eight. Surprise, surprise. Up the middle. And that would be number 44, Javier Walton. And he gets a big first down. And uh, hey. <laughs> there's some justice in that one, I think. Yes, I, I think so. Because <laughs> it was. I. It should have been third and two. I thought so. I don't know how the coaching yeah. staff missed that because it wound up. Third and seven or eight, and I had it down as, as third and two. But it is a first down now, and the ball is at the 46-yard line of Salem, of Classical. First and ten for the Witches. No score, second quarter, just starting. Salem and White. O'Leary kept, and he gets nowhere. Maybe Peter, lost a couple of yards. Peter Grocky made a nice play on that. Didn't go for the fake at all. He hit, looked like he was handing off to Roy Breckenridge, but kept it, and Rocky was all over him for a yard loss. Two yard loss, it looks like. Yeah. We'll call it second and 12. The ball is at the 48 yard line of Classical. O'Leary, broken up. Classical stands are cheering, and the Salem stands are looking for pass interference. That was awful close. Nice defensive play by Dan Ward. Third. I had a second and 12. I'm going to call it third and 12. I. <laughs> Whatever you say, Chief. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> Big guy again, Walton. Out to the 40-yard lane. Right down... At the 40. He's got to go to about the 40, the 36 yard line. And I think they need about four. Yeah. We have a classical player down. A classical player down on the field uh, being 10 to 2. And uh, the officials want the clock moved up. It unofficially says 9 minutes 45 seconds to go in the first half no score in the ball game it has been a good one so far here at Manning Bowl this looks like one of those games where a break could decide a fumble or a bad snap on a punt classical it's been an adventure on both of classical's punts they had trouble handling the ball 
Well, the snaps haven't been all that good. He's punted three times, and twice he's had the bad snap. The third snap was a good one. Yes. But uh, Salem has quick kicked twice. Up and coming off is jo John Rothermel. No, Joe Joyce. Joe Joyce. Excuse me, Joe Joyce. The ball is at the 45, 40, 40-yard 40 line. Is that where they're going to put it down? Yeah. This one, this one so they got it covered. Okay. Yeah, they, need about, the they need about four. Fourth and four. Big play for the classical defense. Salem looks like they're going to go for it unless they quick kick again. Well, they got a fourth down this time, so uh, you would expect they may kick it away. But uh, Well, they, they've got Olay with the quarterback in this, and they don't have the punters, so. Last man through. Very, very close is Walton. I think he made it. He's very close to that first down. I think they're going to measure this one. They'll bring him in. They're going to bring the chains in from the far side. It's a question of how much forward progress they're getting. Move the ball back a little bit. No, he may... That's awful close. It looked like he got close to the, to the 35, but when they marked it, it's going to be close. He didn't make it. Did not make it. And the ball goes back over to the Rams. And the Rams have it at their own 36-yard 30, line. Ball is at the 36 of Classical. They have it. No score in the ball game in the second quarter with about 9.35 remaining to be played first half. Everybody on the right side this time. Danny Ward, nowhere. May have lost a yard or two on that play. Brian Chaklos, with a nice play. He just followed the play and caught it from behind and threw him for the loss. Second and 13 for Classical as they had everybody unbalanced to the right side. Now they move them a little bit to the left. Robert Johnson out across the 40, out to about the 41 yard line. He was a step away from breaking it. He had one man to beat, 